Hello, I'm Joe Wren. The State Board of Education met today for its regular business meeting, the first for the newly appointed members. While part of the meeting focused on thanking past members and in introducing new ones, there was a little business to address. After a year of dramatic changes to the education landscape in Indiana, it seems the board will now focus on issues like failing schools, school funding, and maintaining the assessment system for both students and schools in the state. At today's meeting, the board addressed one aspect of the state's new budget, which allows school districts to choose their own formative test for use throughout the school year. Former Democratic Congressman Baron Hill announced today he will run for outgoing Republican Senator Dan Coates' seat in 2016. Hill said in a statement that he grew up in a small, low-income household in Seymour, where he learned the value of hard work and sacrifice. Coates announced in March he would not seek re-election. And the Sycamore Land Trust is adding the Oxbow Preserve to its protected area. The 31 acres of land located on North State Road 37 are now part of the Bean Blossom Creek Bicentennial Conservation Area. During his term, former Governor Mitch Daniels set aside $30 million in match funding to acquire land for conservation in honor of Indiana's Bicentennial in 2016. The preserve will be open to the public and a trail will be named in honor of donor Skip Van Sells dogs. And now checking the weather forecast for tonight, mostly clear, overnight lows falling to 58 degrees. And in the five-day forecast, tomorrow, Thursday, partly cloudy, 82 the high, 81, a slight chance of thunderstorms on Friday, partly cloudy conditions on Saturday, highs in the upper 70s, and then rain back in the forecast Sunday and Monday. More news online on our website at WTIUnews.org.